Hello, welcome to GOT Good Old Tech. I'm Mark, and today we're going to get back into talking about the Pixel Fold and can it replace the Surface Duo? Thank you for sticking with me. We're going to get in talking about the, or the <laughs> Pixel Fold. There's so many folds, I get all confused. The Pixel Fold that they announced today and how it compares to the Surface Duo and if it can actually replace it. So the Pixel Fold. How can it compare to the Surface Duo? Well, it's close, several things that are way off. I really enjoy watching Mr. Mobile and his comparison and his reviews of these videos. So I recommend you go see Mr. Mobile and look at his review on this Pixel. As you can see here, they demonstrate it here, real elegant. They got a little commercial going on where they spin this thing. It looks really nice. You've got the cameras on the front, on the back, and then a camera on the inside. And of course, all the cameras are better than what we've got on our Surface. So that's a good thing. But they're still not the top-notch flagship. And if you watch some of these other reviewers, they'll explain all that to you. But one of the things that I really want to point out to you is how this thing folds up. It's really nice. It opens up, and it's got that solid hinge. But here's something very interesting. Look how this hinge compares to the Surface Duo. Uh-huh. You remember me saying that I think that this fold, this Pixel Fold is going to be the little brother of the Surface Duo? Well, there's one thing to look at. And if we just look at the simple dimensions, you can see here that the Surface Duo is quite a bit larger. It has an 8.1 inch screen on the inside which versus a 7.6. Look at the thick thickness. The uh, Google Fold is 12.1 millimeters thick folded. The Surface Duo is still only 9.9, .9, so it's still thinner, although they touted that they had the thinnest phone. <laughs> Not quite so. Now, when you get to using these devices, the operating systems are quite different. They look the same, but they're different. For this example, I've got them both scrolling here through, uh, you know, comparing some apps for uh, shopping. you got uh, Amazon and Walmart. And when you got, want to switch them up, as soon as you swipe up on the uh, Android one there or on the Pixel, everything goes away. You can actually swipe up one at a time if you want to just change and uh, go to a different store and compare the first store. I'll show you this here in an example here. Um, when you're using the, the Pixel, in order to get to another store, you got to pull up the menu bar down below, go to the app <laughs> page, find the app, drag it, and put it in place. That's a lot to do. On the Surface Duo, you close the one side, go to the app drawer, grab the other store, and boom, you're in. Okay, so multitasking is still a whole lot better on the Surface Duo. You're able to switch pages real quickly. There are other ways to do it on the, uh, other devices you can do a well i know you can do it on the samsung i'm not sure if you'll be able to do it on the pixel but you can do a two finger swipe to one side and then go into the app drawer and pick another app that's one way to do it um you swipe on the other side do the same thing grab another app or on the surface Duo, it's just so much simpler you just close one side and open it and you can actually install that sidebar where you can go and swipe it out grab an app, and open it up on the Surface Duo. So there's several ways to do it. Now here I am multitasking, doing a Bible study, and you got notes on one side. You know, it's real simple. And on the Surface Duo, if you want to switch to another Bible, you can either do the si sidebar and click on the Bible, and there it is. But on the Pixel, it's a little more complicated. Sometimes you can try and do the double swipe, and it misses. Um, so you got to go back to the app drawer, pick out the other thing, drag it on over. Look at, look at this process. It's taken forever to get a second Bible in there. Okay. So it's not quite the multitasking machine as a Surface Duo. So that's why I just really hope that they come back with the Surface Duo. You know, Microsoft, you got to give us a Duo 3. You know, just your regular browsing. Is, look how much larger <laughs> the Surface Duo screen is. And if they keep the dimensions with the 
3, even though it's a solid screen, it's still going to be quite a bit larger. And I personally like the larger. You go in here and you can just surf. Now, when you go in and select, for example, on the Surface Duo, I select to open this up in Amazon. It opened up the app. As you can see, and it opened up the app on one side because I don't have the, you can have the actually app set up to span both sides automatic. I just didn't do that. But so you go to one side, then you open up another store like Best Buy. And here you are browsing. Look how quickly I'm already in it. I'm still trying to get there. <laughs> okay. And the other Android. Okay. Which would be the Pixel. I'm And uh, full disclosure, I'm actually using my Fold 4. Turn sideways. Gives it the exact same dimension as the Pixel Fold. So that about wraps it up. As you can see, I'm still hanging up onto that Surface Duo. I really hope that Microsoft comes through for us. They actually, since my last video, they gave us an update. So that's good news. I don't know how much of that tells us what they're going to do here in the future for us, but hopefully they will continue to update these devices and hopefully they will come out with that Surface Duo 3. I thank you for being with me and sticking with me through this whole video. If you enjoyed what you saw, please like below and make sure to subscribe and share this with your friends to help me bring out more video and content for you. Now, if you haven't had an opportunity to see any of those videos on the Pixel, I challenge you to do so because if you haven't already, you've got to try it. Thank you very much and God bless.